In this video, we're going to take a look at some mounts made by KOM Cycling for bike computers, GoPros, and lights, if you have that style of mount, like my Magic Shine lights. I've used KOM Cycling products in the past, and I really, really like them. I especially like the seat pack that I just reviewed that has a mount on the back for a Garmin Varia. It really solved a problem for me. So they make some pretty innovative products, and they're good quality. And I'm hoping these mounts will solve an issue that I'm having as far as what I want to carry on my mountain bike and also my gravel bike. So here's what I need to do. On my mountain bike, I like to have the Edge 840 on the top in the mount, and I use that a lot. But there are times when I want to use a GoPro. So what I'd like to do is very quickly and easily mount a GoPro on the top. So in other words, I would take the 840 off. In that situation for my computer, I would use my watch. So I have a Phoenix 7 Sapphire Solar Edition that I really, really like. So I would either leave the watch on my wrist or take off the straps and put it in a mount on the handlebars. And I'll show that coming up because I want to put these on the bike and we'll test it out. The other thing that I need to do on my gravel bike is figure out a way to really quickly and easily mount a light and sometimes a GoPro. So I have a Garmin 1030 on the gravel bike and this stays on front of the gravel bike. And so what I do is sometimes I like to put a light underneath. So this is a magic shine. And one thing I really like about a lot of the Magic Shine lights is they have a Garmin style mount, so the quarter turn mount. So what I can do is just put this underneath, so put it in the mount, and we're gonna test this out. Then there are times when, again, this is gonna stay on top, I wanna put a GoPro underneath the bike computer, and I wanna do this really quickly and easily. Now I have something there now, but it's not quite as quick and easy as I'd like it to be. And so I'm gonna try these mounts. So they sent me quite a few. I'm gonna show you the options that you can use. Uh, you can, I believe, just buy this kit and that will solve a lot of problems. But they also sent me some individual mounts that I'll show you real quick. And then we're gonna go outside and put the stuff on the bike and see how it does. First thing that I'll show you is the KOM Cycling Garmin slash Wahoo GoPro Combo Mount. In this kit, you get the mounting bracket with some extra rubber shims, depending on how thick your handlebars are. And then you can also put a GoPro mount underneath. So that's gonna allow you to really quickly and easily carry your GoPro. Now, also what they sent me, and this is what I'm really excited about, is this little piece here. So what this does, uh, this is a GoPro adapter where you can simply just put this in the quarter turn mount. And so maybe you already have a mount like this. You want to just get this GoPro adapter and we're going to test this out. You can just do a quarter turn mount on the top and this GoPro mount on the bottom. I'm going to show you this combo kit that you can also get from KOM Cycling. This kit is called the Computer Mount Bundle Set. It says includes quarter turn accessory adapter. So let's take a look at what you get inside this kit. The mount included in that kit is longer than the first one that I showed you. And I believe <laughs> I've never used the Wahoo, so forgive me. This is for Wahoo, so there's a little W on the blue one on this kit. So that's gonna tell me that that is for the Wahoo and the other one's for the Garmin. So again, this is longer. So this is the one I'm gonna put on my gravel bike because I like the computer to be out front more. And then this one is a bit shorter. So this one, like the other kit I showed you, includes the blue piece for a Wahoo, includes also the one for a Garmin, and you also get this piece. And underneath is a quarter turn. So what this does with this particular kit, you can run again, a Wahoo or a Garmin, and then you can very quickly and easily mount a GoPro. So what you can do is simply just put this on, turn it, and then you got a quick mount for a GoPro. So that is really cool. All right, before I put this on the bike, I just want to sum up what I showed you because I'm trying to wrap my head around all the pieces. So again, the first kit that I showed you comes with a Wahoo and a Garmin mount. And then it also came with the ability to put the GoPro underneath and with extra shims. Or you can buy this little GoPro adapter, which allows you to put the GoPro in a quarter turn mount. And then the second kit that I showed you basically comes with Wahoo, Garmin, and then this piece here which allows you to quickly put on a GoPro. So different options depending on what you need. Now I'm gonna go put all this on the bike and it'll probably bring it all together for you. So while I'm setting this up, I just wanna show you. So the first mount that I showed you, I took out the blue piece and then I'm just gonna drop in this piece for the garment, put the screws back in. And then if I wanted to, I could also put 
the GoPro mount underneath. Here's the configuration on the mountain bike. So what I can do is leave the 840 in the mount most of the time. I can take this off pretty easily. I'll, I'll leave this on in case I want to put my watch on and use the GoPro. So what I can do is take this off. Now I've already got the GoPro in that extra mount that you can buy. And then you just twist it in here and then you've got a GoPro mount. And in that situation, what I would do is I would put my watch on the handlebars. So that's my setup if I want to have the watch on the handlebars. And I could, of course, just leave the watch on my wrist, but I like to see it more out in front. So that's the GoPro mount. The only thing that I'm slightly concerned about is the GoPro does move around in the mount slightly. So you can see there, GoPros have such great stabilization, it may not be a big deal, but I need to get this out on the trail and test it before I use it in a race. I have another mount that I've been using that bolts onto the handlebar and then I put the GoPro on that holds it a bit more secure. It's just a pain to have to bolt that on every time I wanna use the GoPro. So I really like that, that is super convenient. So if the stabilization is good, and it, you know, it stays secure inside the mount. It's just the GoPro has a bit more movement than I had with the other mount. So I'll check it out, but I don't think it's gonna be, be a big deal, but I'll, I'll test it out and let you know. So here's the mount on the gravel bike. And of course I've got the Garmin insert since I use a Garmin. Now underneath this one, as you saw earlier, I can mount the GoPro. So what I can do is go ahead and put the GoPro in here. And then I would just use the quarter turn quick mount there and then just twist it on and quickly mount a GoPro. So I've got this other little mount from Magic Shine. So I could put this in that mount and that way I could put the light in here. So as far as I can tell, KOM doesn't make another insert that I could use for an underneath quarter turn. It's, it's kind of a rare situation, right? It's only in the case really of running a light because you're obviously not gonna put a computer upside down. Again, I'll just have to use this mount so I can put it on this mount and then I can just twist it in. now. Because I've got a couple kits, I've got an extra one of these, so I can leave this mounted on here and quickly convert this to a double quarter turn mount. So uh, I can just put the light underneath if I wanted to do that. Now, obviously I could just take the Garmin off and put in the light and just use like the watch on my wrist if I wanted to do that. So that is the mount from KOM Cycling. Now what I'll do is I'll just, before I end this video, test the GoPro on that mountain bike mount just to make sure the stabilization's okay. So I went out on my local trail, started off on some bumpy fire roads and then hopped on the single track and I could not even see the GoPro moving around with my eyes. So even though I could kind of move it around with my fingers when it was in the mount, once I hopped on the trail, it was fine. And you'll see coming up here in a minute from the footage of recording right here, that the stabilization of the GoPro was totally fine. I mean, there's more roots on the trail than you can see, but obviously this wasn't like some really rugged enduro trail, but honestly, I wouldn't put a GoPro on my handlebars on any kind of mount if it was really rugged. If, if I was on like really rough trails, I'd have the GoPro mounted on my chest or on a chin bar on a helmet. And this, this road had some like pitted little asphalt chunks <laughs> it was really choppy but you can see here the stabilization of the gopro was totally fine in this mount so i would say it passed the test and wrapping up this video about two months after i started it but i test stuff that i review to make sure it's good so this mount is really cool that's the one i was just showing in the video and you saw that the stabilization was just fine now i will say when you mount a gopro on top of a handlebar Using a thumb screw is very difficult. It's hard to get it tight enough. This actually came with a screw, an Allen screw, which I would recommend using. And other mounts that I've used where the GoPro is on top of the mount, I've had to use an Allen screw. So again, thumb screw is pretty difficult. If it's hanging below, upside down, you could use a thumb screw. So KOM makes some pretty innovative products to include a top cap mount, which I've never tried before, but it replaces your top cap with a Garmin quarter turn receiver so you can free up space on your handlebars. And then I've reviewed some more of their products and I'll put those in the description below. If you've used these, let me know what you think. And with that, I'll wrap up the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.